gotten a lot of questions about the Momo filter um, and what it is even uh, and how to use it and there are some errors that may pop up that you'll you'll find um, so first of all what it is is a custom column it is not a watch list it's not a scanner it's just a way of sorting existing tickers in a uh, an existing watch list so I use a watch list of um, custom gainers uh, watch list uh, scan that I created that just takes a percentage of um, the you know the percentage of increase anything that's over like I think 0.001 percent increase over the last um, month and then chops the top 1,000 gainers off of that um, so I'm and and you know pre-qualified with uh, two two dollars to thirty dollars um, and a minimum amount of volume and I, I have I believe the gainer scan is actually on my uh, list if you go into the master list of script links that's on my um, profile in Twitter. Um, so when you have a, a watch list or a watch list scan, um, you want one that's got between 500 and 1,000 items. Um, and that's just a technical limitation of the way custom columns work. If you have more than 1,100 things in a watch list, 1,100 different tickers in a watch list, um, you'll, you'll get errors. And I'll show you what those look like. Um, but this is just a way of sorting a column. Um, so first, let's start with actually importing it. When you click on the link, you want to click on it and not just copy and paste the link. I know there's a way in Thinkorswim, um, I, I believe it's in the Tools uh, tab that lets you paste uh, a, a TOS.MX URL. But the problem is if there have been any updates, and I update my scripts a lot, uh, it'll error when you try. So if you click on it, it should redirect to the correct one and then just hit Viewer think in Thinkorswim and it'll pop up the window with the latest. Um, so this is the shared item and this is where you would be able to paste it in, but it, this won't know how to redirect properly. So uh, this is why you wanna just go through the steps of clicking on the link, clicking on View in Thinkorswim, letting it pop up the window. Um, look at what the imported item's name is so that when, you're, when you import it, you know what you're searching for later. Um, and then you just hit import and then it should um, automatically be available for you. Um, uh, custom columns are only, they'll only show up in this gear. Um, so here's here's my watch list. Um, and this has, this is currently sorted by percent change, which is just the amount it's changed over the last day since the last close, um, which is not great for uh, if you're in pre-market, then that's calculated based on the last available uh, close which is in uh, not in extended hours so mark percent changes between the bid and ask which changes in mark in uh, extended hours um, so I'll flip between these two based on when it is that I'm looking if I want to look at a, a daily leader so this is the leaderboard right you can see the GRNV is the the top gainer of my pre-qualified list of however many I mean there's there's a lot on here um, and this lets you easily see like what the top gainers are uh, but what I want is is more resolution. What's running right now, and it may not even be the top gainers. It might be something from the bottom of this list that's that's you know all all red. Um, and so you know the way you load this this custom uh, column, the the Momo filter, is to go into customize, and then in the look up a column, you want to do a search for for Momo, and it, that that should show up. Um, so the RTR Momo watch list light is the one you want. There was uh, a heavy version that I haven't released publicly that had background colors that meant different things, but it was very, very slow. Um, so this is the latest version currently, and I'll keep this one up to date. Um, so you just add that in, and you can move it around within um, you know, the, 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 where the column order is, and then you hit OK. And then now you can filter by Momo. And you'll see that, that one of the errors that's popping up here is this custom expression subscription limit exceeded. This is a technical limitation of Thinkorswim where they only allow 1,100 ticker uh, to have a, a custom column applied to it. So this means you have another custom column somewhere. Um, and I do on another watch list. I have a, a separate watch list that uses this um, it's the same thing. It's just named something different. It's a different version of it. Um, so if I go into that watch list and, and change it elsewhere uh, or take it out, then it will. It should recalculate, and then now you can see that it's got. You know, it's gotten rid of that error. Um, and the way you the way you can check for those is when you go into the customize. If you see anything with a little script icon next to it, that's a custom column, and that's that's what matters. So if you have multiple custom columns, you're going to get this error if the the total number adds up to over 1,100. So if you have a custom column of you know uh, 1100 and then you put one of these uh, a different one on each one um, then it'll error if you have uh, you know two custom columns of like say 600 each then um, those will add up to slightly more than 1100 and some of those will get that error 
Uh, but if you have if if you have two custom columns of 500 or less, then you shouldn't see that error. Um, so I have it on one column or one watch list, uh, and I and I actually have the same watch list twice, uh, which will also work because it only has to do the lookup um, once for each ticker. So it's per ticker custom column across the entire app. So those can also show up in scans in the scan hacker. If you've added a custom column to that, um, then that will also count against that 1100. So be careful of that. Um, so once you once you actually have the, the watch list in place, then you can start sorting by um, momentum, which is just the amount the ticker has changed. Oh, and you can actually see there's still still some in here um, because it's, it's using a, a separate I have a couple of different watch lists that use this. Um, so that just means that, that you have to go find those and make very careful decisions about which ones use it and which ones don't. Um, so I've turned it all off in all of my other watch lists and so now I can sort by, uh, by Momo here that will let me see what the current top gainers are. And you can see that um, at the end of the day on Friday, PRPH was the, the um, one that was moving the most. And it was, um, you know, kind of red. So this would be a good one to look for for a red to green move because you know that it's it's got a lot of momentum. It's got a lot of volume on it right now. And this just means, um, you know, the percentage over the day just means that it's been beaten down. But currently, it's staging a rally. So this could be bouncing off a bottom. It could be, um, you know, just nearing nearing a, a, a res resistance level. Um, but they're worth checking out. Um, then there's also the, you know, the top gainers will show up as well because those generally have a lot of Momo throughout the day. Uh, but this will let you search by the percentage in the last half an hour. So the colors don't really mean anything other than showing you the different levels that they've risen. So zero to one percent or below below one percent is gray. One to three percent is white. Three to five percent is yellow. Um, five to ten percent is lime. You know, and and so on all the way up to I think red is the is a hundred percent if you ever see something that's got a hundred percent momo on it um then that's the, the hundred and above is going to show up as red and this is really just so that when you sort by percent change or, or anything else um then you can see really quickly where within that list the the ones that have more um more momo are um, if you want to change, you can customize it uh, and, and actually click on this script icon to see what it's doing inside. This one happens to use a 2 minute 15 bar range. So this is a half an hour It's because it's 15 bars times 2 minutes. Um, the, the one I've currently settled on is a 3 minute 10 bar range and that's only because um, I'm using scans and scans update every three minutes with new items on the scans uh, or three minutes or less or more. It doesn't Thinkorswim doesn't update scans more often than that, so it doesn't make any sense to refresh the list more often. Um, but you can also set it to like one, and then that's every you know three minute bar. You could set it to a one minute one min uh, one range bar, just to see the percent change in the last minute. Um, but over using a lot of experimentation, I found over time that that introduces a lot of noise. And a half an hour is um, a good. It's a good size to be able to um, uh, to have it show up a lot of a lot of good tickers that are moving without a lot of noise of things that are just sort of randomly bouncing up right now. Um, you want to make sure this include extended hours trading session is clicked. Um, it's possible the, the one that's out there right now doesn't have that. I may I may need to update that. Um, but what you really you really want to make sure that this is a 30, 30 minute time period. So the range times the aggregation period is 30. Um, and that this uh, extended hours trading session is clicked so that it changes um, outside of the extended hours. Um, and the rest of this is just, I mean, this is, this is really how it calculates. It just calculates the percentage of the open, um, which is the open of the range um, bar from range ago, so 10 bars ago, and then the current close of the current bar, and it just gets the percentage of the difference of those, and that's all it does. So it's just the, that number on the Momo list is the percent difference between um, between uh, the, the last half hour. So you're easily able to see what's what's running quickly. Um, and depending on those settings that you change, like you'll see slightly different things in here. And this is how you can tweak it to how you like it. Um, my, my default may not be what you want to use, um, but you definitely don't want to just set it to one 30 minute column because then every 30 minutes, this entire thing resets to zero and starts over again. Um, and that's the whole point of using the rolling columns is so that, or the rolling time periods is so that it, uh, will smooth that out and so you never really see big jumps in these unless the stocks themselves are jumping uh, because it's basing it on the current movement 
you know, in the current time period. Um, so that's the, the, the main, you know, the high level of this, how to use it, how to tweak it, how to debug it, how to install it. Um, if you have any other questions, those are the most common that I've gotten, but uh, definitely drop me a line either in Discord or on uh, Twitter. I'm always the, the same, uh, Richard the Red. Uh, just let me know and let me know if you're using it and finding it useful. Thanks a lot. We'll talk to you.